Kenya's first lady is hoping this feat will carry her for more than 40 kilometers in London. And Margaret Kenyatta has chosen Iten, where Kenya's best athletes train to step up her preparations. You have been training in the home of champions for a while. Yes. Do you feel like a champion now? Absolutely. Today I do. Today I do. Other days I've been a bit tired, but this uh, track running was fun. Both the waking up and being away from home. That, that's challenging. When Kenyans compete at the London Marathon, talk usually centers around fast times and crossing the finish line fast. But this year, for one Kenyan, talk will be about a different kind of victory. She is running to raise almost $6 million for charity. Well, we expect to raise about 500 million Kenyan shillings to buy mobile clinics for each county. And from there, probably more, we keep going. And it's uh, to prevent um, mothers and children from dying unnecessarily. Her coach is a man familiar with marathon running, former champion Douglas Wakihuri. It's like a good challenge because uh, compared to an athlete who has been training, she has come from a very different background. And uh, I think it is always good for a coach to exercise patience. And I think our first major step was to finish the 21. That was really challenging because we only had, we started late in November, uh, mid-November. And it is only four months now, and she's able to run at least 20 to 25 kilometers. The first lady says she is motivated by Kenya's elite runners. I've met some, and uh, I was really humbled. And uh, yeah, some of some of their hints are are really good. I mean, because I need the endurance, the endurance. I'm not there to win the race. They're, they're there to win the race, but uh, they've been wonderful. The race is on 13th April and Mrs. Kenyatta hopes she will inspire more Kenyans to an active and healthy lifestyle. Celestine Karone, CCTV, Initen, Kenya.